All right, everybody. So here we go. We're going to get ready to flash uh, Gingerbread 2.3.4, uh, the ROM of your choice. Um, so we're finished doing the backup. We're going to go ahead and select. Um, you know, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Um, selected. Uh, well, that one's go back. It shows up kind of. There we go. Lighting's a bit crazy right now. Uh, hit enter button. And um, what we're going to do is um, do a full data wipe factory reset. Okay. So we're going to hit that. Go on down to yes. Hit enter on that. This will take um, a few seconds. Um, for me, sometimes when I do this on my own phone, um, it goes a little bit quicker. Um, the first couple of times I did this, I did the factory data resets, it uh, took a little while. And, oh, there we go. Done. All right. After we've done that, I like to go down to also wipe cache partition. Go ahead and do that. Down here, wipe cache partition. And this is just so that you don't have any um, residual... Um, you know, files from residual, is that the right word to use? I don't know, I'm trying to sound fancy here. Any any files left over from the uh, from the ROM that we were running before, the Froyo ROM, we don't, we don't need any of that crap. And then I like to go down to advanced after that's done, and I go down to wipe Delvic cache. Go ahead and hit enter on that. Go down, yes, I want to wipe Delvic cache, hurry the hell up. That takes seconds, like one second, maybe not even. Okay, uh, now we're going to go to go back. Then we're going to go ahead and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. External. Down to my uh, ROM that I selected, and of course you guys will be whatever it'll 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 show there of uh, you know what was on there. So anyways, uh, enter on that. Go down here and enter on that. Now um, <clears throat> this is going to take a bit. Um, could take anywhere from five to ten minutes to be completely honest with you um, so I'm gonna cut the video now so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it but um, it's gonna do a bunch of crazy shit um, as usual and uh, I know you're probably gonna be sweating balls and your hands are gonna be all clammy and you're gonna be freaking out um, I'll come back as soon as this ROM's finished flashing alright guys alright guys so uh, we are done installing the ROM that's what it should look like now, if you're an at t user, um, this ROM does come stock with a modified kernel in it. And I believe it's actually, as long as you have set CPU, it's overclockable up to 1100 megahertz, which will show up stock. Um, maybe even 1200, I can't remember, but uh, they say they recommend you put, put, uh, set the CPU down to 1100 megahertz, otherwise it'll heat up your battery and it won't actually give you any performance. Um, with that said, if you're an international user like me, um, you're going to want to find an international kernel. Um, you'll find that most of the ROMs that we're going to be flashing as international users usually come with um, the, uh, uh, an AT&T kernel. Um, so after every flash of a ROM, before rebooting or anything like that, what you're going to want to do is this. We're going to go down to go back, and, and again, the, also for at t users, if you don't like and, uh, and you're aware of the particular kernel that is included in the ROMs that, they, that the developers put together for you, if you don't like that kernel, that's cool, go pick your own kernel and you can follow this method as well, okay? So I select go back, oh, no, actually, that's stupid, I'm an idiot, um, choose from SD card, sorry, uh, external SD again, okay, and as you can see here, um, I have the uh, uh, overclock uh, D00 kernel. Now, you're going to say, well, what's this D00 about? Um, for international users, when we do our unlock, there, when we unlock our bootloader, there's an issue with, um, with our RAM. Now, we're supposed to have uh, one gig of RAM stock. Um, it's actually not one gig. It's actually like 900 gig, uh, megabytes, to be honest with you. Um, if you opened up set CPU and you were to look into um, 
um, after you unlocked, and uh, I believe if you opened up set CPU and you looked into the info tab and then went down to memory and saw how much free RAM you have, it, it'll be around like 300. So you're running at like only a quarter or like one third of, of what we should be running at, right? Um, so for international users, um, this particular one, uh, and I'm going to post a link in the description for you in this description for this video on for international users on how to get this particular kernel. This actually not only has a stock 1100 megahertz um, overclock on it, but it also comes built in with a uh, the RAM fixer, so it'll put it right back up to like 900 some odd uh, megabytes. So, um, anyway, so. Uh, if you've got your uh, kernel, you go ahead and select that. Go down to yes, install. <clears throat> and again, this is bef this is, like after you're done installing your ROM, you install the kernel right after. No rebooting, just ROM then kernel. And even some people that are a little more advanced users, if you have a web top. Um, hack like an HDMI web top hack. Um, you're going to install that right after the ROM. Okay, so it'll be like web top hack ROM and then kernel. Uh, and that and that should take care of uh, take care of that for you. All right, so now this is all flashed and ready to go. Um, all you got to do now is click go back, go back again, puts us back to the main menu, and then as you can see, please lighting, you can barely make it out. Uh, reboot, reboot system now. You're gonna highlight that and power. And um, this is gonna reboot the phone. So I'll uh, cut this out for now. Um, in this particular ROM, the uh, boot up image is stock. Um, I believe in the Alien, in Kenneth Penn's uh, full on Alien beta um, ROM, it's got a special, I think, uh, bootloader image. Um, and then in some of the other ones, there's, you know, like, like Cherry Blur as an example has a really cool boot up, uh, animation. Um, so it's, it's, you know, don't get freaked out if you don't see it doing something else fancy or whatever. So anyways, I'm going to cut the video now and we'll come back when it's all booted up. All right, everybody. So we're back. <clears throat> we're finished booting up. Um, I actually ended up having a problem where it got stuck in a boot loop and it wouldn't load. Um, the result of that is because, um, I ended up forgetting to check which uh, version of my Atrix. Okay, so um, as before I just said to flash the ROM and then the kernel and then go ahead. Um, so that may work for some, it may not work for others. Um, if that doesn't work for you and um, it ends up uh, um, putting you into a boot loop, you can just uh, pull the battery from your phone, put the battery back in, um, hold power, down volume, get back, and then uh, where it says fast boot, scroll on down to the Android recovery, get into your Android recovery again, um, and then uh, what you're going to do is um, um, uh, wipe factory data reset, um, and then after that's completed, go down to wipe cache, then get back in your external SD, reflash the ROM that you chose, and then once we're in there, um, Go ahead and load up the Moto Blur, whatever you need to do. This particular ROM doesn't let me skip Moto Blur um, for good reasons. But um, what you're going to want to do then to check which particular kernel you actually do need for your phone, um, you're going to want to download, like I said in other videos, download Terminal Emulator after you've done your Moto Blur, uh, your Moto Blur setup and your your Google account. Um, you're going to get in there and download um, Terminal Emulator. Uh, you know how to do that. Uh, then what we're going to go to is um, head on down to Terminal Emulator, and then um, in the uh, Terminal Emulator, you're going to go Super User, of course, hit Enter. And um, for you, if it's the first time you're starting up Terminal Emulator, it'll say, oh, you know, allow or deny, quickly hit allow. And, um, of course, if you don't have the um, uh, keyboard up, uh, menu and toggle soft keyboard, that'll open it up. What you're going to want to type in is C-A-T space forward slash P, oops, P-R-O-C forward slash CMD L I N E. Okay? Just like that. Alright? Then you're going to hit enter, and it's going to show you a bunch of stuff. What you're looking for is, <clears throat> where is it? The Tegra, where is it? Where are you? 
the Tegra part where it says uh, Tegra part. Um, so you're going to go Tegra part, and this is the important part. MBR, for me it's D00100800 K panic 2100 400 800. Okay? So that means that when you're searching for kernels, you're gonna, that you'll notice in the developer sections for kernels, they'll say either download the D00 version or the 1100 version. Yours may say, if it doesn't say MBR D00, yours will say Tegra part equals MBR. 1100 and then 100 800 k panic 2500 400 800 so that's the big difference there is the um the MBR D00 or yours will say MBR 1100 okay and so then you can just go ahead and download um download the uh, kernel that you need uh, and then you can just go uh, back into your clockwork um, like you know boot down power down the phone get back into clockwork mod and um, and then once you have that kernel loaded onto the SD card of your phone um, you can then go ahead and clear cache first and then because that's going to erase the um, kernel that was automatically put in there by the ROM and then you go ahead and flash the kernel and it'll boot back up and everything will be hunky dory. Um, so, anyways, guys, um, that's basically it. We're uh, you're, you're now you now have uh, a rooted phone with uh, uh, it's unlocked. You got Gingerbread 2.3.4. Um, you know how to do everything. Like I said, if you need any help at all, if you run into any issues, there's always a, f a, a workaround. Um, make sure your battery's uh, fully charged before you do any of this flashing. I mean, as you can see, you can, you know, get away with like 73%, stuff like that. But like, you know, anything under like 50, 60%, you're probably looking at problems. Um, because it actually, it, it won't, it won't let you flash anything if the battery's too low. Um, so there you go, guys. I hope this video hasn't been too long and I hope it hasn't been too confusing for anyone. Like I said, um, you know, Anything that can go wrong when I'm flashing something goes wrong. So I've been there. I've done that. Um, I've poured hours over trying to understand how to fix problems. So if you have any issues along the way, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, then you can get into cool little ROMs like this where you got the, 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 you know, this particular version of Moto Blur that the guys hacked the crap out of is actually tolerable and, and really nice. And I'm not going to jump into Launcher Pro just yet because I'm actually enjoying the... Um, the uh, the moto blur the the guys have hacked and removed all the blur bloatware and and so on and so forth so anyways um, there you go guys um, the smoking android teaching you guys how to uh, unlock and and get clockwork mod on your phone and upgrade to gingerbread uh, I hope I helped you guys and um, please don't forget to subscribe to the videos and uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys some cool ROMs in the future so if you want to uh, make sure you take a peek at some of those ROMs, uh, make sure you subscribe to my videos. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling because I sound like an idiot and um, there you go guys, congratulations. We'll, uh, we'll catch you soon. Cheers. Uh, also, something else to keep in mind, guys, um, if you're not flashing the ROM that I've chosen, uh, the Ronald uh, in the developer section is called R-9, uh, uh, Ronaldo's uh, uh, version here. Um, this one comes with preset APNs, so as soon as you flash the ROM and you boot up, it's going to select your APN and... Um, and, and start working right off the bat. A lot of the ROMs don't actually have APNs built in, so um, I've actually had to enter my APNs uh, at least a half a dozen, if not more, times um, every time I flash a ROM. So just make sure you search for your particular APN um, on XDA, and um, you can just type in your APN information. If, uh, if you haven't already done so, like I've said in my past videos, you should always write down your APN information on your computer and just save it somewhere so that when you do flash, um, you're able to uh, uh, get your data connectivity and everything back again. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, yeah.